Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Worship Wednesdays. Uh, it is, uh, I'm drinking ginger tea today out of a nice cup. Uh, sent, it has, it's actually Singapore on there. I trust you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining us. I apologize I wasn't with you last week. Um, boy, it was a busy week of recording. That's what I was doing last week. And um, this week, I'm actually, I had to record this before I got on the plane. I am uh, flying as you're watching this or just landed. I don't know, one or the other. But um, this is our week in Holland. <laughs> so, Wow. Two weeks ago, I was in the studio uh, a good part of the week, and then last week, this week, earlier this week, I was in the studio, or sorry, last week now, and um, and now in Holland. So um, it's been a crazy busy few weeks, but wonderful. Thank you for your prayers. Yeah. Well, here's a good song to start the day with. With every beat of my heart, every song that I sing, every prayer that I pray, every offering I bring, with every thought that I have, every word that I say, be glorified. From the start of each day till the end of the night, let me bring praise let me bring light lord i offer my life as a sacrifice be glorified well this is my prayer the cry of my heart lord i want my life to reflect who you are oh lord please stir up the fire and burn everything till all I desire is you. With every breath that I take and everything that I do, let me lift up your name and bring honor to you. Let the words of my mouth only speak truth, be glorified. This is my prayer, the cry of my heart. Lord, I want my life to reflect who you are. Oh, Lord, please stir up the fire and burn everything till all I desire is you. With every beat of my heart, song that I sing, every prayer that I pray, every offering I bring, with every thought that I have, every word that I say, be glorified, oh yes, be glorified, oh yes, be glorified, that's our prayer. Lord, be glorified mm -mm. in everything I say, everything I do. Oh, God, that's my prayer. In every situation, every conversation, oh, God, that's my prayer. It's my prayer, be glorified, oh yeah. yeah. And we're here to bless your name, gathered as your family, to praise you and proclaim your faithfulness and mercy and we give you glory we give you honor we 
give you everything we are lifting our hearts and hands before you we give you glory we give you honor oh yes we give you everything we are lifting our hearts and hands before you We're here to seek your face, to gather in your presence, to celebrate your grace, to praise you for your blessings. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you everything we are lifting our hearts and hands before you we give you glory oh yes we give you honor we give you everything we are lifting our hearts and hands before you Lord yes we do There is no other reason why we came than to glorify your name. For you are worthy to be praised. Now we offer up our lives as a living sacrifice, holy acceptable. We give you glory, yes we do. We give you honor. We give you everything we are. Lifting our hearts and hands before you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you everything we are. Lifting our hearts and hands for you, Lord, as we do. And we do that today, Lord. Everything we have, we offer to you. And as we begin this day, or close this day wherever you are in the world be glorified in all we do and in all we say in Jesus name your steadfast love extends to the heavens your faithfulness it reaches to the clouds your righteousness is like majestic mountain and your wisdom like the depths of the sea and you come to me filling my heart with your loving kindness I find my peace in the shadow of your wing your wings I eat my fill from the abundance of your household and I drink from the streams of rejoicing oh Jesus you are my king you are my king yes you are you are my king you are my king sing it again your steadfast love 
extends to the heaven your faithful your faithfulness it reaches to the cloud oh yeah your righteousness is like majestic mountain and your wisdom like the depths of the sea and you come to me filling my heart filling my heart with your loving kindness I find my peace in the shadow of your wing your wings I eat my fill from the abundance of your household and I drink from the streams of rejoicing oh Jesus you are my king yeah you are my king you are my king you are my king amen well welcome again to worship wednesday thank you for joining me uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, this is, we come to you from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, this is almost live today because I'm uh, recording this before we jumped on an airplane to head to Holland. And again, my apologies for uh, last week to all of you um, who, uh, I, I got your emails. <laughs> what happened to Worship Wednesday? Well, we were, um, like I said, we were busy recording. It was a busy, busy couple of weeks recording, and I, I had every good intention of trying to do something live from the studio. And do you know my head was in so many different places trying to get everything right, get the singers right, the band right, the notes right, the words right, that I, I, just, I just didn't have a chance to, to go live, and I apologize. But um, I, I took a couple of pictures. You know what? Those of you, if you've been in a studio, there's just, there's a lot happening. And I have uh, 50 pictures I could show you. But I, I took one of the singers. We had a large group of singers come in one night to, to re help us record a couple of the songs with needed bigger vocal section. I have a picture of that. Uh, here is a picture of that. The guy in the flannel shirt right there in the back, that's David Hamilton, who is producing six new songs uh, for me. And there are a group of singers in the studio. This is an old house. It's called The Castle, but it's been a studio for many years. Uh, we have, uh, what do we have, 12 singers there on the night. We had six through the day, and then for two songs at night, we ended up um, augmenting it with about... Uh, six singers from our churches. So um, we were, we, heard, we were, um, and I'll show you a shot in the studio. We were going over a song that I wrote, uh, and David Hamilton helped me write this one, but I had written it uh, uh, last year. Uh, Glenn Hall, my buddy, uh, set me up in an Airbnb. Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> and I wrote this uh, Lord, we welcome you. Have your way, do all you want to do. Take your place as we build you this throne of praise. In your courts we stand singing, Worthy is the Lamb forever. You are high and lifted up. Let your glory fill this temple. Open wide the heavenly gate. Let the King of glory take his place. Yeah, that's a little bit of it. Here's a shot in the studio with uh, David trying to go over 
uh, the chart with all the uh, band. This is the band date. Take a look at this just real quick. Where are you, what bar? Okay. Right like here. I have a feeling I probably wouldn't play Right here, this, where, I mark, where it's marked suddenly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, 88, 91, 91, play that one more time and just a double check on it. Lord, we will. Actually, let's go, let's go back to uh, the outro. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's just going through the chart of uh, the, 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 the music of um, High and Lifted Up, I'm calling it, uh, and taken from Psalm 24. Uh, and just, you know, the, the verse, Psalm 24, verse, verse 3, who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. And we, we talk about that in the verses of that song. But the chorus, lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. And it's, I, I don't know, I just love that picture, the invitation, you know. Uh, yeah. Open wide the heavenly gates. Let the king of glory take his place. Yeah. So, um, you know, when I, when I was writing the song, I was writing it uh, for you musicians in the 4-4. Uh, in, in Lord, we welcome you, two, three, four. Have your way, do all you want to do. Take your place as we bid you this throne of praise, two, three, four. In your courts we stand. Okay, that was written in four, four. But uh, when David uh, Hamilton heard it, the producer, he said, I hear it in 6-8, which is not too much different, but it's a, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In your courts we stand, 2, 3, 4, da, da. or the is the lamb forever. You are un lifted up, let your glory fill this temple. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. And a king of glory take his place. <laughs> there's your, there's your uh, musical theory lesson for the day. But anyway, I'm excited about that song, and I love the fact that we're inviting, you know, king of glory, come and take your place. And I know that is your prayer, not only as we gather for these Worship Wednesdays, but as you gather in your churches around the world. Boy, we build a throne, Psalm 22, verse 3. Lord, we build a throne with our praise. Come and inhabit the praises of your people. That's my prayer every time I get up to sing. That's my prayer. Because uh, when God is with us, he is here to heal, to save, to deliver, to provide for every need. Amen. And I just want to be where you are Dwelling daily in your presence I don't want to worship from afar Draw me near to where you are And I just want to be where you are in your dwelling place forever take me to the place where you are cause I just want to be with you I want to be where you are dwelling in your presence 
feasting at your table surrounded by your glory in your presence that's where I always want to be I just want to be I just want to be with you and I just want to be where you are dwelling daily in your presence I don't want to worship from afar draw me near to where you are and oh my God you are my strength and my song and when I'm in your presence though I'm weak you're always strong yes you are and I just want to be where you are in your dwelling place forever take me to the place where you I just want to be I just want to be with you I just want to be I just want to be with you That's our prayer, Lord We want to be where you are, but I know you want to be where we are, right where you are today, right where we are today, dwelling in the midst of our praises. Lord, we want to be where you are, dwelling in your presence, feasting at your table. Surrounded by your glory In your presence That's where we always want to be I just want to be I just want to be With you There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I can search for all eternity long and find there is none. There is none. There is none like you. What is that scripture? Solomon prayed it. Um, where is that? Samuel. Second Chronicles. Here we are. Uh, and when Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the assembly of Israel and spread out his hands, and, uh, and he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God in heaven or on earth like you. And we say that to you today, Lord. 
Lord God of Israel, there is no God in heaven or in earth like you, who keeps your covenant and mercy, your servants, with your servants who walk before you with all their hearts. You keep covenant. Lord, we thank you. There is no God like you on earth or in heaven. And we worship you today in Jesus' name. You know. I worship you, almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O oh, Prince of Peace. That is what I want to do. I give you praise, for you are my righteousness. And I worship you. Almighty God, there is none like you. I worship you, Almighty God, there is none like you. Just tell him, Lord, I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I want to do. I give you praise, for you are my righteousness. And I worship you, almighty God. There is none like you 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 just tell him there is none like you yes, Lord. there is none like you there is no one like you Lord and we worship you Lord, we come to you today. We say, there is none like you, no God in heaven or on the earth, nobody like you, Lord. And we give you our worship and our praise today. Come, be big, be magnified in our lives, in our homes, in our hearts, in our cities, in our churches, in our nations, Lord. Come and do a mighty work. Let your glory fall on each one today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, I am, pray for us, by the way, um, if you want to know where we are going to be in Holland, to my friends in Holland, um, you go to donmoen.com forward slash tour. <laughs> Do we have the names of those cities? Uh, I don't want to. Okay, there is the poster. Paul Balash is flying out with me. He'll be with me. We have the choir company. Uh, one of the... I don't know that I've ever heard a finer choir that has sung with me. These, these are, they're all Dutch. They're singing in English, um, and, and their sound is just so bright and so, ah, I just, I just always amazed. Um, so thank you ahead of time, all my Dutch friends, for welcoming us so warmly. I think the concerts are, our tickets are uh, really have sold well. So we're looking forward. We've got the whole band flying out. We'll be there on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we come back 
on, on Monday. So it's a short trip. I was going to take Laura with me, uh, but she is, um, it's just, it's such a short trip. She's staying home on this trip, and I'll, I miss her. I always do. Yeah, but uh, if I take her, <laughs> all the grandkids miss her, and, and all, all my kids miss her because she's, in fact, today she is uh, watching the twins, um, Blanche and Goldie. Oh, I wish I would have uploaded some new pictures for you. Uh, they're getting so cute. What, what a what a blessing to have two sets of girl twins, Blanche and Goldie, here in Nashville. They're two and uh, what are they? Two and a half years old. And uh, and then there's uh, Mercy and Gr- Grace down in San Antonio. And I miss those girls. I don't get to see them a lot, but they're they're in San Antonio, and they are about eight months old now. Mercy and Grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. <laughs> I think of all my songs that talk about mercy and grace. I must have been prophesying it all those years, and now here we have mercy and grace. Um, yeah. Well, I want to pray with you before we leave today. I was earlier, if I have the time, I'm going to try to, I wanted to read a scripture to you. I was going to read um, Psalm 139. I was reading it the other day, and it's so it's so good. I was going to sing uh, the song, Your Love Never Fails. Nothing can, I'm not going to sing it. But, Nothing can separate, even if I ran away. Your love never fails. I know I still make mistakes, but you have new mercies for me every day. Cause your love never fails. You stay the same through the ages your love never changes there may be pain in the night but joy comes in the morning and when the oceans rage I don't have to be afraid because I know that you love me your love never fails because I know that you love me your love never fails yeah. I said I wasn't going to sing the song so there's another verse in, a, in the bridge but I was singing that and I thought of Psalm 139 I just if you get a chance today just open your Bible and turn to Psalm 139 and, and, and read it I mean it's just uh, I'll read a f- several verses. Oh, Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down, my rising up. You know, you understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my my path and my lying down. You know, we serve a God who's the God of the past. He knows where you've been. He's the God of the present. He knows right where you are today. He is the God of the future. He holds your tomorrow in his hands, and you can trust him. Even though you may not understand all that's going on, he hasn't forsaken you. He hasn't forgotten you. There is nowhere that you can go to hide from his presence, as this psalm says. Uh, Lord, um, there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, and I cannot attain it. Listen to this, verse 7. Where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. 
If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. And I can keep reading, but verse 17, how precious also are your thoughts to me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Wow. In other words, God is never going to forsake you. He hasn't forgotten you. You may be going through a storm, but uh, in the middle of the storm, it's another song uh, that we recorded last week. You know, um, keep your eyes on him till the storm passes over. He can calm the wind to a whisper with his word. Peace be still. Hear the words of the Savior. All is well. Keep your eyes on Him. That's right. So no matter what you are going through, uh, whatever storm, keep your eyes on Jesus. You will not sink. Uh, He will not let you drown. Because God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a way. Go away where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way, He will make a way, by a roadway in the wilderness, He'll lead me, rivers in the desert will I see. Heaven and earth will fade. But his word will still remain And he will do something new today Oh, God will make a way Yes, he will Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my guide, hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a way. With love and strength, with love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. Will make a way. Yes, he will. He will make a way for you. Lord, thank you for making a way where there seems to be no way. A roadway in the wilderness and a 
river in the desert. Thank you, Lord, that even at this moment, you are working in ways that we cannot see to make a way for each one here today. I ask you to heal broken hearts, broken marriages, men broken bodies, I pray. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for making a way financially, providing for that need, turning that business around in the name of Jesus. and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way Yes He will He will make a way for you Well, thank you for joining me for this Worship Wednesday. Uh, so good to have all of you with me again. Uh, next week, the Lord willing, I'll be back from Holland with a good report, maybe some pictures of the tour, and uh, be with you once again live. Um, again, thank you for your prayers as we, as we minister in Holland. Uh, we arrive Wednesday. Uh, today, as you're watching this, we, we arrive. And then uh, Thursday is the day of rehearsal. Friday, a concert. Saturday, a concert. And Sunday, a concert. And then uh, drive back to Amsterdam, get a hotel, and fly out in the morning back to Nashville. So it's going to be a busy week, but I, I do appreciate your prayers. Maybe I'll try to do something live from um, uh, one of the concerts Let's see, it'll be 6, 7 o'clock at night. Well, it'll be about, yeah, about noon or 1 o'clock here in the U.S. So it might be a good time uh, to, uh, for those of you in Asia, it wouldn't be a good time. But uh, we'll try to maybe find a way to touch base. It'd be fun to do something with Paul, Paul Balash, get him to, with me here and say hi to everybody. But we'll see how it goes as we're on the road. There's just, you think you're going to have time and then you don't. But uh, again, once again, thank you for joining me as we wrap up. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. We give thanks. Amen. The Bible says to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise today. We, we end with giving thanks and praise. For all of my friends in Holland, I look forward to seeing you Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, one of those concerts. It will be good to be back in Holland again. Have some good Dutch coffee, Dutch fellowship, and, uh, and what are those things called? Uh, those, what are those caramel, those uh, syrupy struffkoff, what are they? Struff waffles. Struff, uh, stroop waffles. Yeah, those, those things. Uh, stroop waffles. So when I come back, if I looked about uh, 
10 pounds heavier. That's probably the reason. I'll blame it on the Dutch for feeding me all those good Stroop waffles and all the good food. Anyway, uh, again, thank you for joining me. It has been good to be with you. And wherever you are in the world today, remember, God is always working in ways that you cannot see to make a way where there seems to be no way. God bless you. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.